Hey, I'm Scott, and I'm an American in Bangkok. Thanks for all your info. How about mosquitoes? Some say it is a big issue when living in Bangkok and you should avoid going out early morning and late afternoon. And it gets difficult to go out because it will be too hot during the day. Ha ha. If you have any experience or advice, it would be highly appreciated. Moving to Bangkok in three weeks. All I can say is, dude, if you really believe this, then why are you moving to Bangkok? Uh, from what you wrote me, I, I just wonder, you know, like, what are you going to do? Teach English? I don't know why you're coming to live here. I have no idea. Uh, but, I mean, people go out in Bangkok early morning and late afternoon. They're out all the time. Nobody worries about it. Now, are mosquitoes a problem? Can they be a problem? They can be a problem. I almost never, and I mean never, get bit by mosquitoes. Once in a while, if I'm down in the south in Suratani at our at our house down there, or um, once in a great while if there's some stagnant water around our house, maybe then uh, I kind of like uh, get a bite or two, or my, I hear my wife going, ah, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes, and she fires up the little mosquito coil thing. Uh, but all in all, uh, I mean, uh, there isn't the problem that you seem to think. Now, there have been some Zika cases reported. Of course, there is uh, uh, some malaria and dengue fever. I got dengue fever uh, when I first came to Thailand. I think I had only been living here for uh, for a few months, maybe maybe a year, and uh, it was horrible. But I don't know that there was anything I could have done. And if you think that you're going to just stay inside in the morning and stay inside at night, and then, wow, what am I going to do? Because it's too hot to go out in the afternoon. Ugh. You know, really, uh, you need to rethink your logic. Because people are out early in the morning, all day, all night. And they're not worrying about the mosquitoes. I mean, you know, if you don't want mosquitoes, uh, don't rent a, a, an apartment that is like right next to a dirty clong where mosquitoes uh, fester and they, they, they tend to uh, lay their eggs. Uh, don't leave a bunch of water out. I mean, I don't even like leaving out water for the dogs, but it's a necessity. We have to do it. So before we were leaving out a, a huge tub of water, I told my, my wife, I said, listen, if we got any mosquitoes, just uh, dump that water out and leave them a, little, a couple little bowls. You got two bowls, one for each of them. They got enough water. And if we're not going to be around, then we'll leave more water. But other than that, you don't need to leave a bunch of stagnant water. And if there is stagnant water, do something about it or move or don't move there or whatever. Uh, but it's not a big deal. Uh, at least it hasn't ever been a big deal for me with the exception of the one time that I got dengue fever. And they weren't even positive it was dengue fever. But from the symptoms and what I, the way I felt, uh, which was horrible, uh, I'm convinced, and so were they, that it was, it was dengue fever. Uh, I think if you are in the city and you do what I told you, which is don't leave a lot of stagnant water around uh, and don't move next to a dirty old clong where your window is right facing the dirty old clong, uh, probably you won't have any problems. I can't guarantee it, but if you're worried about this kind of thing, dude, you got a lot more things in this to worry about, and I'm serious. So... Anyway, that's all I got. I'm Scott. I'm an American from Bangkok. Until next time, Joe P. Laughing.